Hi everyone, in this video we're going to see how to test MOSFETs. So we're gonna see many types of MOSFETs, especially the SMT MOSFET or the surface mounted device MOSFETs. So let's get started. First, let's see the definition of the MOSFET. The MOSFET stands for Metal Oxide Semiconductor Failed Effect Transistor. The voltage applied to the gate J terminal determines the electrical conductivity of the MOSFET. This ability to change conductivity with the amount of applied voltage can be used for switching or amplifying electronic signals. It is a three terminal device, source, gate and drain. So as you can see here, basically this is three types of MOSFET. This is here the 8P MOSFET as you can see. Okay? Here we have 8P MOSFETs as you can see. Here also this is an 8P MOSFET but this one we called it a flat MOSFET. Okay? This is a flat MOSFET. So the MOSFET contains three pins for source, one pin for gates, and four pins for drain. So here, as you can see, we have two kinds of MOSFET. As you can see, we have here ASMD MOSFETs or surface mounted MOSFETs, and in the left, as you can see, we have THT MOSFET or True Hole Technology mounted MOSFETs. The working principle of how to test this MOSFET is the same. So here we are gonna see how to test MOSFET. So basically here we have a 3 terminal MOSFET, gate, drain and source. So a good MOSFET is a MOSFET that has a reading between, between drain and source. So when you put the multimeter to the buzzer option or the to the diode option and you check between drain and source you should get a reading if you get a continuity or a buzzer means the mosfet is bad so the only reading you should get in the mosfet is between drain and source the same working principle for the 8 pin mosfets as you can see here we have three pins for source and four pins for drain. Basically, the first pin is marked with a dot, as you can see. So, three pins for source. Here we have the gate, and these other pins are for drain. So, now let's see some real MOSFETs in real motherboards. As you can see here, we have four MOSFETs that we're gonna check step by step. So, as you can see, we have here U2. U stands for a MOSFET or an IC in a motherboard. So as you can see here, we have the dot hand, this dot, this white dot means this is the pin number one, as you can see, two, three, and so on. Okay, basically here we have source, these three pins are source, as you can see. Here we have gates, and over here we have drain. Four pins are for drain. So now let's check this MOSFET using the same working principle. Let's check the source. These three pins should be connected together. As you can see here in the multimeter, we have a low resistance in the multimeter. Three pins are connected together. These three pins are source. These four pins also should be connected together. As you can see in the schematic, this is the drain, as you can see we get a low resistance in the multimeter means the four pins are connected together as you can see here also the same working principle we have a dot here means this is the pin number one two three four and so on here we have the drain okay the same also for the third mosfet okay always the white dot means the pin number one so if we check between source and drain, as you can see, we get a reading here in the multimeter, means this is a good MOSFET. This is basically NPN channel MOSFET. When you put the red probe in the source and the black probe in the drain and you get a reading, means you have NPN 
channel MOSFET. And when we switch the probes, as you can see, we don't get anything in the multimeter. So between cells and gate, you should not get nothing in the multimeter. Also between gate and drain, and drain nothing in the multimeter means the MOSFET is a good MOSFET. You will get just a reading between source and drain in accordance with the type of the MOSFET. If the MOSFET is MP in MOSFET, when you put the red probe in the source and the black probe in the drain, you will get a reading. Basically, a bad MOSFET is a MOSFET that get a low resistance in the multimeter. Let's check this true. MOSFETs also, basically here this is a 4P MOSFET or a 3P MOSFET. So here we have gates, as you can see, drain, here also we have drain, basically these two terminals are connected together, and here we have cells. We're gonna use the same working principle to check this MOSFET. So here, as you can see, this is drain. We have a low resistance in the multimeter. It means these two terminals are connected together. So let's check right now between source and drain. We get a reading. So let's check this MOSFET also using the same working principle. Always the two terminals in the middle are connected together. So between source and drain, we get a reading. It means this is a PMP channel MOSFET because if we switch the probes, nothing in the multimeter. So basically this is a good MOSFET. So remember, a bad MOSFET is a MOSFET that gives a low resistance or a buzzer when you test it. Here basically this kind of MOSFETs we find it in the lab in the computer or old laptop motherboard. So here, as you can see, using the same working principle, so the two terminals in the middle are the drain, as you can see. We have a low resistance in the multimeter, means the two terminals are connected together. So let's check between source and drain. We get a reading, means this MOSFET is a good MOSFET. Okay? So let's switch the probes. We should not get anything in the multimeter it means this is a good MOSFET. So let's check this MOSFET also. Here we have the gate, drain, as you can see, and source. So let's check between source and drain. Here we have nothing in the multimeter. If we switch the probe, we get a ready means this is MP in channel MOSFET because we put the red probe in the source and the black probe in the drain. So let's check this MOSFET. Also, basically, this is a flat MOSFET, 8 pin flat MOSFETs. We find this kind of MOSFETs near to the processor. So let's check it using the same working principle. Here we have a dot, means this is the pin number one, two, three, and so on. This is the source. These three pins are connected together. Here we have the gate and over here we have drain. Four pins connected together. So let's check right now the drain. All pins as you can see are connected together. Here we have four pins connected together. As you can see in the multimeter we get a low resistance. So between source and drain we get a low resistance. So when we check between source and drain, we get a low resistance. Why? Because the processor is connected to the motherboard. If we remove the processor, we will get a high resistance. So it's not a short circuit. So let's remove the processor right now and check again that MOSFET. Now we remove the most the processor this check right now between source and drain as you can see we get a high resistance so this is a good mosfet it's not a shorted mosfet also for this we get a high resistance but if we connect back the processor we will get a low resistance means the resistance is for the processor not for the mosfet 
So let's put back the processor and then check the MOSFET. So let's check between source and drain. We have here a low resistance. This is not a short. This is basically the resistance for the CPU. So as you can see, we have 0 0.23. This is a low resistance, but this resistance resistance is for the CPU. So let's check it out this MOSFETs also basically here this is a small MOSFET with three terminals as you can see using the, the same working principle we're gonna check between source and drain. So the rule is you should get a reading between source and drain. If you get a low resistance or a buzzer means the MOSFET is bad exactly the same as the transistor. So let's check. Here between source and drain we get here as you can see a reading in the multimeter means this MOSFET is good. Between gate, drain and gate and source you should not get anything as you can see. So let's check the second MOSFET. So here between drain and source we get a reading as you can see in the multimeter. If we swap the probes we will not get any tank as you can see here in the multimeter and of course between source and gate and drain and gate we will not get anything in the multimeter means these two MOSFETs are good MOSFETs so this is other kind of MOSFET as you can see three terminal MOSFETs as you can see we have gates drain and source Okay, we have here G means gate, drain and source. Okay, here also we have another MOSFET, we have gate, drain and source. So this terminal is connected to the middle terminal. So let's check these two MOSFETs. Basically, these two MOSFETs one is P channel MOSFET and the other is N channel MOSFET. So let's check it. So let's put the black lead of the multimeter in the source and the red one in the drain. We get a reading, as you can see, in the multimeter, 180. If we swap the probe, we should not get anything in the multimeter. So let's see, as you can see, nothing in the multimeter, no reading. So let's check the second one. So here, as you can see, we get a reading when we put the red probe in the source and the black probe in the drain means this is n channel MOSFET but for this one as you can see nothing in the multimeter but if we swap the probes means the red lead in the drain and the black lead in the source we get a reading means this is p channel MOSFET so this is p channel MOSFET and this one is in channel MOSFET. And please pay attention, never replace a P channel MOSFET with N channel MOSFET or the inverse. So basically these two MOSFETs are good, but there is another method that we can use. If we take six measurement, we should get just one reading between drain and source. So let's check. So between drain and source we get a reading. This is the first measurement if we swap the props now ready so let's check between source and gate so as you can see now ready also between gate and source now ready this is the fourth measurement now let's check between the gate and the drain now ready no reading okay so we get a reading just between drain and source so one of six five readings are off and just one is on so let's check the second mosfet we get a reading between 
serves and drain basically this is and channel MOSFET if we swap the props in our radar so between serves and gate we should not get any reading as you can see no reading so if we swap the props no reading also so between drain and gate also no reading if we swap the props no reading so we get just one reading between drain and source so you can use the same technique for eight pin MOSFET as you can see so here we have the source three terminals for source and this is the gate and over here we have drain four terminals for drain so if we check between source and drain nothing in the multimeter let's swap the props we get a reading so basically this is n channel MOSFET let's check between source and gate now reading as you can see so let's charge the MOSFET because Always when you check or when you touch the gate of any MOSFET with the red probe, you should discharge it first. So let's check. So let's check. Also, no ready when we swap the probes. Now let's check between gate and drain. No ready. As you can see. And the six measurement, no ready. So we get just one reading between source and drain, one of six.